As we walk through the streets of Yabrut city, the former capital of insurgents in the strategic Qalamun area, we can see the destruction that the long days of shelling has left on the city. This may perhaps clarify the reason behind the speedy defeat of the militants in the city. As you can see behind me, the Syrian army is uh, redeploying its units inside Yabrut city and fortifying uh, positions and posts in Yabrut city in order to maintain control over the city and prevent any uh, attempt by the insurgents to retake the city or re-enter the city. The military receives a tip that a group of gunmen is hiding in this public park so the units move in, surrounding the location and moving in on it. No one is found in the place, but the search goes on. Though the main battle is over, the soldiers remain on high alert. We are continuing search operations and establishing a perimeter, securing the effort and making sure no terrorists can come back to the city. Soon we will start allowing repair teams in the city and then we'll allow the safe return of people to the city. The Syrian army finds more of the remnants of the insurgents as they research more. Here, a weapons depot with Russian-made Grad missiles, mortar shells, along with an explosive belt. Not far from here, licensed blades, both Lebanese and Syrian, and a dismantled car that the officers tell us was being prepared to become a car bomb. Military sources told us that most of the car bombs used to attack pro-Hezbollah areas in Lebanon were prepared in Yabrud. Yabrud was a major source of car bombs as they benefited from the industrial area here to prepare booby trap cars. We also found here many missiles used in attacks against Lebanese villages. They were stationed in a school and they turned it into a field hospital and you can still see blood here despite the darkness. The day ends with a celebration raising the Syrian flag over the city square and painting the Syrian flag over the opposition flags that filled the place once before. A picture of the Syrian president acts as a reminder of who controls Yabrud now. The military operation presses ahead towards the towns of Ras al-Ain, Rankous and Ras al marda finalizing control over the Syrian-Lebanese borders and completing securing Kalamun region in development that will leave its effects not just on Syria but also on the security and stability of neighboring Lebanon, which lies very near, right behind these mountains. Allah Ibrahim, Press TV, Yabrud.